Rena Sabalenka versus Jesse Wigula is the final of the ladies Cincinnati Open for 2024. And both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Wigula entered the tournament as the number six seed. We're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Mukova. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 5 7 6 4 6 2. In the third round, she'd take on Townsend, who had just beaten the number nine seed Kazakina in the previous round. This was no problem getting through in straights. 6 2 6 3. In the quarterfinal, she'd take on Fernandez, who had beaten Rabakina and Schneider along the way. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, it went down to the wire, with Wigula getting through in a tie break third set, 756776 to advance to the semi-finals. In the semi-finals, Pagula would take on Pedosa, who'd been having a really good week to get to this stage. And after splitting the first two sets, Pagula would get through in three. 623663 three, six, to advance to the final. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number three seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Cochiaretto. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6364. Six, in the third round, she take on Svetolina, who she'd played a crazy match against in Rome earlier in the season. This was much easier for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 7562. In the quarterfinals, she take on Sam and over the number 10 seed who'd done really well in the US Open and the US Open Series last year. There's no problem again for Sabalika getting through in straights. 6362 to advance to the semi finals. In the semi finals, she'd take on Sviontek, the world number one, who she'd lost the last three matches to, including two matches on clay this year. But this is no problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights, destroying Sviontek. 6363 to advance to the final. These two have played six times before, with Sabalenka leading 4 2 in the head to head, including a match last year at the WTA Finals in Cancun, with Pagula getting the win in straight sets. But they've only played a few times over the last seasons, and it's going to be really Really interesting with the court service being so fast who takes advantage of that if a is gonna win this one she's gonna get off to a good start and try and defend well because of course Sabalenka destroys Fiontek with those big serves and the big ground strokes so a lot of running for Pagula and hopefully she's still got enough gas in the tank to do it one more time because we know she's had some epics this week Sabalenka's gonna win this one she needs to serve big and hit the big ground strokes like she did against Fiontek really smothered Fiontek in that semi-final she doesn't drop a set this week Sabalenka so if she does drop a first set that could be an interesting mental battle between herself but but if she gets off to a good start here and serves well, she should get the win. Love the clash of styles in this one. It's so different. We've got the big server, the big hitter on the fast courts against the American at home. It should be a really fun battle, but I'm going to go with Sabalenka in this one in three sets. I just think the court speed is just too good for a game. And unless she completely stuffs up her serve, I reckon she's going to get the win in three sets. I give Pagula a set, but I think it's going to be over in three. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to win the title.